Wow. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house. With me, your host, Khadija. Okay. Um, I knew my sister was going through something. Um, she sometimes when you wake up to a lot of stuff and you go through some stuff, you don't know what you're releasing inside. And so today my heart is real heavy for uh, Tamar Braxton, who I just did a video about on uh, yesterday, um, you know, talking about her. But today it says that she was, um, this article states that she was rushed to the hospital after a possible suicide attempt. Now, Tamar Braxton w was rushed to a hospital after being found unresponsive and sources believe it was a possible suicide attempt. Uh, according to sources, Tamar was staying at the Ritz Carlton residence in downtown Los Angeles near LA Live with her boyfriend, David Adifiso. We're told that David found Tamar unresponsive and called 911 to report his girlfriend had been drinking and taking an unknown amount of prescription pills. Uh, sources say he believed it was a suicide attempt. Sources say ambulances arrived at the hotel and have transported the reality TV star to California Hospital in downtown L.A. LAPD confirmed to the blast that they received a call around 9.45 p.m. in regard to a 43-year-old female who had a emer medical emergency listed as a possible overdose. Officers are following the woman, officers are following the woman to the hospital for further investigation. Uh, sources say Tamar's condition is unclear at the moment. We're told Tamar has been extremely emotional due to an ongoing contract dispute with WeTV. The singer has been attempting to get out of her contract, believing that she has been screwed over the years. Things got worse this week when the trailer for Tamar's new Wii TV reality show, Get Your Life, was released. We're told that Tamar felt blindsided uh, by it and hated the way it portrayed her. See, uh, no creative... Uh, wow, this... You know, see, you see... You see what I'm saying? This is the kind of... Well, earlier in the week, Tamar vented her frustrations about the Braxton reality show contract. Hello, y'all. Unfortunately, your girl Tamar is under the weather today and not feeling so well, so we need to postpone today's show. Don't worry, it's not the COVID. We're sad because we had a great show lined up for you today, but this week's show is going to be bigger than and better. So sorry for the inconvenience. We know many of you look forward to the show every week, and we'll make it up to you. Tamar and David do a live YouTube show called Coupled in Quarantine, which was scheduled to air tonight. Instead, the message was posted reading, you know, what I just read. Um, a spokesman for the reality star tells The Blast um, that Tamar had a very tough emotional day. More information will be coming forth in the next few days. Y'all please pray for her. Y'all pray for uh, Tamar. Tamar is more emotional. Y'all know how those Pisces can be. You know, for those of y'all us who uh, believe in astrology. The last video Tamar posted on Instagram was of her son, Logan. She wrote, I just want to know if anyone else besides me need a vacation. Logan wasn't having it then or now. All I need to see is water and some sun. That's that Pisces. I need that water. It's only 1.30 and I want to go to bed right now. And then she's got a something that she posted with Logan. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Mommy. Mommy. Whoa. That's Logan, huh? He didn't got to be a big old fella. Braxton says her family was screwed over on the Braxton family values compared to the Kardashian contracts. I mean, this stuff is really, I mean, it gets you to the point where you don't want to work no more. I'm not saying that's the way you um, 
uh, get yourself out of a contract. But on her Instagram post, she got Tamar Slade Braxton. Are we going to talk about pay? One one hundred percent wrote the theme song. Where is the coin? Our show is on Netflix. Where is the coin? Ten years on the air. We make seventy five percent less than the Kardashians. How come there are no villains on that show? I'm just asking. And uh, Georgia Brown Boy said, I wish y'all could work out a deal with a black-owned network. Any one of them would be ecstatic to give the Braxton family. At, don't put on BET. BET is not a black-owned uh, uh, network. Viacom owns that. Bob Johnson sold it. It used to be black-owned. Don't say, know the difference between black owned and black targeted, okay? Because every, a lot of stuff is black targeted, targeted because they know we spend money, okay? But we don't have any ownership in nothing. They didn't, took everything from us, okay? That's what we were talking about yesterday. We have to get the ownership back of our products, okay? And it's just that simple. Anyway, he goes, uh, all, we all remember the ratings that fam Braxton Family Values brought to WeTV. Pay them they were. It was the highest show on BE, I mean, on WeTV, the highest rated show. Um, and like I said, she made a very good point. You think about the Kardashians. You think about a family that's been singing for all those generations, years and years. Over 25, 30 years in show business. And then here you come the Kardashians. Kim Kardashian get uh, famous on a sex tape from Ray J. And she got more money than Ray J. <laughs> he couldn't even get off on his own supply. And you have them who are not talented at all. Running rings around and own their product, the Kardashians. So they don't have to worry about their generation of uh, having financial security. What about the Braxtons? Is that why they ended up cashing checks and stuff like that? Allegedly? This is ridiculous. Tamar... My heart goes out to you, sister. I hope you get by the water. Because nothing is worth you losing your life over. And I know it may seem dark right now. And it's going to be some more darker days. Especially with the corona hanging over everybody. But Tamar, there's a lot of people that love you. A lot of people that want to see you win. Your family first. And your little boy. And I know all that don't matter sometimes when you're going through your own sh sh shit. But I want you to know that we love you and we want to see you win. We want to see you win, Tamar. So with that being said, um, y'all give a shout out to Tamar Braxton. If y'all know anything or heard anything about this, let me know. All right. I like Tamar. So if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next video. Wow, wait a minute. Wait, let, let, let me tell you this one thing. Uh, Tamar replied to a fan. She said, "Still more drama to this day." But that what happens when an all when all white executives having all the power and telling your black family stories. I will get justice for my family and all the other black family reality shows with the narrative of the angry black people and negativity. It's terrible, and I'm freaking tired. Yeah. That's what they do. That's what they do. It's not a coincidence that we all die broke. Come on, it's not a coincidence. So with that being said, I'm going to go. I'll see y'all in the next video.